Britain at present has several species of wild deer roaming the length and breadth of its islands. Today there are probably more deer at large than at any other time since the Middle Ages. Wild deer have learned to adapt around mankind and are flourishing. Regarded in recent times as a luxury food, deer meat, or venison as it is known, was a major food source to our ancient forefathers. Wild deer were in fact a significant factor in the survival and existence of our own human species. With the rapid growth in human populations during the Middle Ages, and the destruction of much of the natural forests, many large indigenous animals, including deer, were drastically reduced in numbers. One native species of deer, the roe, was deemed unworthy of royal protection and largely exterminated in England and Wales, leaving just a few survivors clinging to existence in the wild woodlands of Scotland. Specimens of the Scottish population and also roe from European stock were successfully reintroduced as a sporting quarry in England during the 19th century. Confined as many populations are within well-defined boundaries, their management and control must be highly organized. This is doubly essential in those areas where large human populations are in close proximity, as many people may wish to use the deer's home range for other recreational purposes. Deer behavior will largely dictate the pattern of the manager's work, but he must be aware at all times of the need to create the right image of stalking to an ill-informed and often hostile public. The animals he is obliged to kill should be the correct ones to ensure the continued well-being of the herd. Their deaths should be swift and humane as possible, using modern, well-maintained weapons designed specifically for the task. All necessary steps must be taken to ensure the speedy recovery of any shot deer. Introducing a young tracking dog to stalking instills the practical experience it will require in later life. Eventually, its skills may be needed to find a dead or injured animal under much more difficult conditions. The strict requirements of modern food hygiene regulations mean the careful handling of the shot deer at all times. In some locations, it is possible to employ purpose-built machinery to handle the carcass, which is much easier and cleaner than extracting the dead animal by muscle power alone. In lowland situations, closer to roads and modern deer larders,